The governor also proposes $11.1 million for the Louisiana Rural Health Information Exchange. Senator Hines is here, Linda's here, uh, representing the rural hospitals. And let me tell you, what they've done last year, so many of our hospitals in the state of Louisiana are rural, and they don't have the resources to first get to the first point of, of entry for electronic records, which is to have uh, digital information systems <coughs> in their hospitals. This year, because of the budget this year, seven <coughs> of our rural hospitals are, are implementing uh, interoperable electronic health records within their hospitals, IT systems, if you will. And the governor's proposing to expand that this next year for seven more hospitals. Um, finally, the governor, or additionally, the governor's put three and a half million dollars in his budget to provide financial incentives to, to physicians who participate in the Medicaid program who utilize health information technology. This is important rel relative to the initiative that uh, Administrator Weems and Secretary Levitt have given us the opportunity to potentially participate in. It's additive to the federal government. Um, in my opinion, it's, it's incredible foresight on our governor's part to try to make sure that we, we don't compete with what the federal government's trying to do, but instead we add to it. And we're going to use this $3.5 million to also encourage private sector plans throughout the state of Louisiana, our own state health plan, to participate as well. The governor also has put $1 million in his budget for uh, the implementation of our transparency initiative. Um, it's very important for the right of consumers, and we call it the consumer's right to know. It's very important in terms of the consumer's right to know the quality, the outcomes, the cost of health care. Any of us can go when we buy a car, we can compare different cars, um, but we can't necessarily compare the outcomes of our 